Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Before I go any further, I want to apologize for the way I sound. I have a nasty cut under my tongue and it's been a very difficult week to eat and speak. It hurts every single time I speak and try to eat something. So it's just been a very terrible week for me. And uh, also, I deleted a second channel that was associated with this one and every gmail account can have two different youtube channels so i deleted the second one so i can start a new world of warcraft gaming channel and i'm just so excited for shadowlands so i've been trying to get my ducks in a row together and ready for the new expansion and i love playing world of warcraft so why not build a new channel and just start from scratch so that's what i'm going to be working on here in the next several weeks so today we're going to be looking at the console 3d from Vita Hex Games version 0.3. I already downloaded it and updated it. It did take some time, like around five to seven minutes. It is a pretty large file. And the more we get updates to this, obviously it's gonna get larger because of all the 3D models that they're gonna be adding. And I'm very excited to see what else we got in store for this application. It's one of my favorites and I love it so much. Thank you Vita Hex Games for continuing to give us the latest updates on this amazing app. You can update this through the Vita Homebrew browser, which is working just fine for me. It's 0 0.92, I believe, the Vita Homebrew browser app. And let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what we got. I'm not sure if we had this wallpaper before, but it looks really good. So we got 17 consoles and we have the Atari 2600. Now one of the features that I forgot to mention on my last video was the list. So if you press circle, you will have this really cool list of all the consoles that they have available. So we have the Atari 2600, Nintendo, Sega Master System, Mega Drive, PlayStation. Very good. So let's go ahead and take a look at them one by one here. All right. So let's get started with the Atari 2600 and before there was just a console and now we have a controller. That is very cool. And let's see. Oh, so if we press square, you'll get the controller. Wow, look at that. Look at the details on that. Perfect. Let's go back and let's check out the next one. So we have the NES with the controller. So here is the music to the app. Very relaxing music, I like it a lot. Here's square. Let's zoom into the controller here. That is very cool. Let's move on. And I like that sound. Here's the sound effects. Nice, very retro. And we have the Sega Master System. That is a new console to the encyclopedia. And I just love how they give detail to consoles. The, the bottom is a little, little rough. This one looks a little flat, but not bad. Let's look at the controller. Wow, look at that. I've never seen one of these before. So this is my first time ever looking at a Sega Master. I know what it is, but I've never seen it in person is what I mean. I've never seen one actual physical console at a store or whatever. Let's lower that music. And we have the top five games, but we only have two. So Sonic and Alex... Alex Kid in Miracle World. Interesting. Moving on to the Mega Drive. We've already seen this one. But let's take a look at that controller. Yep, I do remember that. All those crazy buttons. That's the reason why I didn't like it. It's just too confusing to have like six buttons. It was so weird. And I felt like the Sega was trying to be like outer space or like something from a spaceship out in space or something like that. So it's 
kind of cool, but kind of didn't like it when I was growing up. I was a square. I've always liked the NES or the Super Nintendo. And here's the Game Boy. Nothing has changed there. Oh, look at that. We just got the sound of the Game Boy there. So what happens if I go back? Will we get the sound of the system booting up or is that just the Game Boy? <laughs> That's very cool. Pressing start will give us the extras. And we can have the auto rotate turned off, the sounds turned off, the music turned off, auto play intros, interesting. Super Nintendo controller. I never really had this console. I had the old school, the one with like the purple buttons on the top or the slide buttons. And I've always thought this kind of candy color style controller was like rare to find. And I've never even seen this one before, this model SNES. I'm sure that's a rare one. But yeah, I had the standard cube or the square version. So here's the Sega Saturn. And apparently this uses like discs, right? CD-ROM, there you go, media of CD-ROM. And here's the top five. We have only three games and I can't really see them. The first one's like a fighter game. Second one's like a racing game. Third one is a fighter. I guess it's the first one of the first game. Fighter 2 is the first sold at 1 million, 1.9 million. Whoops. Let's take a look at this. It would be cool if they had different backgrounds, like if you wanted black back background or a white background, because it is kind of hard to see the console. On the Vita, it's fine, but if I'm using OBS like I am here now, it's a little difficult to see. But wow, look at that. Stickers and everything. And it's very smooth. I love it on the Vita because it's like 60 frames smooth. Look at the details, beautiful. They just do an amazing work on, on this, it's nuts. The PS1 with the controller, we gotta take a look at that right now. I've broken so many of these controllers throughout my years of playing as a young kid. <laughs> That's it right there. Yep. Wow. So awesome. Moving on to the N64. One of the weirdest controllers I've ever held. But it worked out. Something out of space too, you know. Something very crazy. You had the analog right in the middle. It's like, what is going on here? so strange and then you can like put something in the back of it to have a, like a rumble pack or some other pack upgrade to the game or something like that and then you had like this extra button at the bottom i've seen this one youtuber or or somewhere online where they collected all the colors and they displayed them on their on their wall and i thought oh it's a very good idea to do something like that with these controllers and moving on to the Game Boy Color. Oh, we got the sound there. Nice. Top five. <clears throat> Hasn't changed. Let's move on. And we got a new console. We got the Dreamcast, Sega Dreamcast. I'm so excited to see if that emulator will ever come to the Vita. And I hope it does. The top five, Sonic, obviously. Sonic Adventure, Crazy Taxi, NFL 2K, Code Veronica, hmm, finally Resident Evil made it to the top five. And this one was another strange console that I couldn't get my hands on. And how much was this thing? 200 bucks, not bad. I think my older brother had one for a little bit and then he sold it because he didn't like it. 
yeah, there you go. Just looks something like futuristic and and that controller or something else. That's so it has like its own LCD or screen there and that that controller was so bad. In my opinion, it was just so weird. I felt like they were trying to copy the N64 with this and it failed. <laughs> And then you can add like some other cartridge in the back there. It's just such a weird. Moving on to the PS2, we have the controller. And this controller, wow, this is gonna be a little difficult to to look at, but it's all it, it felt like the same one as the PS1. You know, it was very similar. Very, very similar. But not bad. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Vita Hex Games. Thank you for the nostalgic sounds. You guys are doing an amazing job. Keep going. <laughs> and the GameCube finally made it to the list. Beautiful. This thing was at $200. And I had one surprised on Christmas Day. Me and my brother had a black one with Spider-Man, the from the Spider-Man movie. I'm telling you that those were the days, man. I remember we first got it. We didn't have a memory card, so we had to replay the game every single time we turned it on, and we just had a blast. This was one of those amazing consoles. So many great titles, handle on the back, travel. Perfect, and then you can add that adapter on the bottom to play your Game Boy Advance games. This thing was beast. Love it. And it's still a very popular console today. You see a lot of a lot of competitors using the GameCube controller for like Smash tournaments and other tournaments related to the Nintendo. Because it did work on the Wii too, so that was like perfect. For them to do that, to have the controller work on the Nintendo Wii was like revolutionary and we everyone hailed Nintendo at that time it was like thank you for doing this for us but yeah good times good times top five we have obviously Super Smash Bros Mario Kart Super Mario Sunshine yes and Zelda the wind wind waker and Luigi's Mansion we did have Luigi's Mansion we didn't have the well we did have Super Smash Bros and Luigi's Mansion for a little bit but yeah, those were great titles. Moving on to the Game Boy DS or Game Boy DS, Nintendo DS. Awesome. And the PSP. Oh my. Oh no, he did not do that. Oh, do these tur really turn on? I didn't even notice. Hold on, man. Oh, it's because, you know what? The Game Boy Advance does not have the backlight, brother. Look at that. Let's go back. Let me, let me, get, let me go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Are you telling me that thing powers on? Oh, my. Look at that. Wow. Game Boy Color. Yep. Man, props. Props to this guy, man. Or a gal, Wh whoever you guys are. Look. Oh, I just saw the Vita. Oh my, look at this. Oh my goodness, we have the PS Vita, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Here's the PSP. Look at that. That is so beautiful. That is just. I am just astonished. All right, so on my last one, I did kind of criticize the PSP uh, 3D model here a little bit. Not a lot. I wasn't trying to be a jerk or anything, but I uh, just was trying to help. And let's see if they made any changes. The speakers are still in the wrong place. Oh, they got the uh, memory. Yep, they got it. You have to move it down. A little further down so you would need to swap the top for the bottom you'd be good there at the UMD and yes they did us 
some work there for the top. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. We got the sticker at the bottom with the screw. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And moving on to the PS Vita released back in 2011. It's almost been a decade since this thing has been released and it's getting into the retro. It's going to be sent into the retro genre pretty soon. 250 bucks introductory price crazy top five we have uncharted not surprised assassin's creed call of duty little big planet and not sure what that is is that persona oh yeah persona 4 is one of the more popular titles on the vita let's take a look at this guy oh my goodness oh my goodness look at that beautiful glossy and this is the PS Vita 1000, guys. Look at those beautiful analogs. D-pad looks a little weird. It's not really indented. It's more flat than anything. But it looks good. Speakers are there. The top looks perfect. Bottom, perfect. Look at that. Yes. And you see all the little icons on the back? That's attention to detail. Got the Sony logo at the bottom and the camera. Wow. Wow. I'm just. And I can play it here. So if you press square while you're in here, you can play the intro. Let's go back to the Vita or uh, the PSP. Oh my. Look at that. Look at that, guys. What more do you want? Like, this is the perfect app to have on your Vita. Well, guys, I am very impressed on this app. Big shout out to Vita Hex Games for just doing an amazing work on this. I am just so surprised, blown away, and I just love it. I just hope they give us more and more and more and more. And please support these guys. They do a wonderful job. They have a Patreon, so check them out down below. And I'll leave links to whatever they have for social media links and just try to support them as much as we can, guys. So, so that is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions, comment down below. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy my content, please hit that subscription button here on my face and that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. And if you're looking for PSP content, I have that playlist right here for you. And PS Vita content right down below, that full playlist. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.